baby, do you know what that's? Demonetization. You don't get my video. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sound Attack once again, and welcome to yet another Talking Head video. Today, we're going to be talking about MetaMask and the review bombing that's going on on the Google Play Store, why that's happening, some of the things you can do to prevent it happening to you, as well as whose fault it is. That's pretty much about it. But before we get into that, if you guys would like to chat with me and other crypto enthusiasts without spammers, scammers, or bots, hit the join button down below. Go over to the membership tab and in there you'll find a secret registration URL for Rocket Chat. Without further ado, let's talk about MetaMask. So, MetaMask has been around for a long time. One of the things that I always see is people searching in Google, is MetaMask a scam? And the thing is, is that it's kind of funny. The answer is that no, it's not a scam, but you can get scammed from MetaMask. And one of the things that you start to gather when we start going through, of course, all of these review bombs are two major things. One thing is that you have people that just don't understand how crypto works, the private key thing or anything along those lines. They just don't understand how it functions, which is fair. It's not something that is super intuitive. And if you aren't tech savvy, it's going to be more difficult to operate. And it's especially harder to operate with something like MetaMask over something like Coinbase or crypto.com affiliate links down in the description below, but you do get control of your private keys, which is very important. And we've talked about this before. The other thing is MetaMask is adding a ton of new features. Now directly in the application, you can go ahead and swap and all of that stuff in there. You can even look at any liquidity that you have on Uniswap. That's all tied directly into the app. A lot of new features coming in and with new features coming in, there's always gonna be more bugs coming in along with those new features, which is understandable. Now. The next thing and the big thing that you start to notice is that you are seeing a lot of people that are losing money and they are basically setting up their wallet and then they're sending crypto to the wallet and it's disappearing. There is a reason for this and we're going to talk about it. But the first thing that I want to show you guys is that while on Google Play Store, you have three stars for for MetaMask on Apple. And let me refresh this. You have 4.4 stars out of five and what you'll notice is there are not as many people losing money when they're sending <laughs> crypto into the account there's actually a reason for this and it's tied into this article which is rotten seed phrases it's a new scam targeting crypto users but it's not necessarily like a uh, a phishing attack so in this article they call it a phishing attack i beg to differ it functions a little bit different but as in search engine results are not a reliable way to identify that you're installing the real version of a wallet. Take the opportunity right now to bookmark metamask.io. One of the things I love about this article is right there in the beginning, it's giving you the way to prevent any issues with utilizing MetaMask. And that is that you want to be downloading the application, whether it's on Google, Apple, or within your browser from the official website. Meaning even if you're gonna go install it on your cell phone, what I would suggest doing is opening a web browser and typing in metamask.io and then clicking the link for the actual application from the website. So it takes you directly to the store page. Now, the reason Apple isn't having issues is that this is primarily targeting and utilize, or utilizing Google ads to go ahead and create this attack. So what attackers are doing is getting ad space on Google, which includes, unfortunately, also <laughs> utilizing and getting the ads in Google Play Store. If you guys haven't seen how that functions, you can put your result up higher based on a specific keyword right? Like put it on MetaMask and then pump yourself all the way up to the top, right? And that happens on the Google devices as well as Chrome and any Chrome based web browser. So that's going to be Edge as well as even Brave. 
And what you want to be careful of is that if you're using a Google search engine, you are getting basically incorrect results that are, that are allowing attackers in. So the way the attack works is that in a rotten seed phrase attack, a malicious website mimics the website of the wallet the user is trying to install. The fake website takes the user through a, an imitation of the wallet's onboarding flow directly inside of the scammer's website. So it's going to look like MetaMask, all that. But toward the end of the fake onboarding process, the user is instructed to back up their seed phrase as normal. Here's where the attack comes in. The seed phrase provided was previously generated by the scammer. After backing up this rotten seed phrase, the user is taken to the wallet's real website, so MetaMask's real website, and is instructed by the scammer to install the wallet and import the rotten seed phrase. So it's a kind of a process that looks like you are just verifying that you know your seed phrase and you're clicking import instead of create new wallet on the real website. And then you're typing in the seed phrase of the wallet that they've already generated on the blockchain. So they have full control of this wallet. What happens after that is you send your crypto there and they drain the wallet. So it's not a phishing attack in the sense that they're getting your seed phrase and then they're just stealing whatever's in your current wallet. It's more, a, it's, a, it's an additional step, meaning that they are actually already have the wallet generated and they're just tricking you into importing that into your MetaMask and then draining it out as you send crypto into it. So what you want to do, like I said, is bookmark MetaMask.io. Why is this not happening on Apple as much? Well, because Apple has a more stringent review process for their ads in the iOS store. This is one thing that you could say for new users and beginning users, I recommend iOS, especially with crypto, because it doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily safer overall as far as like, if you know what you're doing with Android, I understand you have more options to go ahead and roll your own kernel. You have more options to lock it down more. But if it's just somebody just getting into crypto for fun right now, they're not that tech savvy, iOS is going to be a safer bet than Android. Uh, if I had to do it, you know, with my grandma or my mom or my dad or something, you know, a boomer, <laughs> I would say, hey, before you do this, you know, if you have an iPad or something, do it on your iPad over, you know, your Samsung phone or Google phone or whatever, primarily because the attacks are coming directly from Google ad. And this is actually true with a lot of things in crypto right now. So. A lot of things in crypto that's going on is a lot of fake websites, fake ads, and f basically fake stores even selling mining equipment, which we're gonna be talking about on this channel, how to spot fake mining equipment for sale too. This includes primarily ASICs, but in some cases it is including now graphics cards too. So you wanna keep that in mind. What should you do to protect yourself? Like I said, if you're new to crypto and you're new, you're not super tech savvy, do it on an iOS device. I mean, like I'm assuming if you're gonna be investing a lot of money into crypto, you can go afford to buy uh, an iOS device that supports later stuff. Avoid Google searching for wallets you've heard of. So don't just go to Google and search for MetaMask or Coinbase or any of them, right? And try to just ensure that you're going directly to the source of the verified wallets and so on. You can check this channel for wallets that I use and, and so forth. Links in my description will be non scammy if I can help it, which I'm trying. I type them all out myself. We, I'm not Google searching and copying and pasting. So hopefully you can trust those as well. My how to buy Bitcoin video should be helpful there as well. And just be very careful out there guys this space is getting very similar to what it was in 2016 to 2018 where there are more scams than there are valid projects this is also another point that we need to talk about with all the trading channels like the altcoin trading channels and so on where they are you know purely going off charts on what to buy and what not to buy without taking into account things like white papers and roadmaps and what the coin actually does 
and you want to be very careful because you can make some money on those pump and dumps but if it's not a reality of you know something that people are actually working on you're gonna get in a lot of trouble so hopefully that covers a whole bunch of security stuff but then we're going to break these out into additional videos i hope this was helpful be sure to leave a like comment subscribe hit the notification bell for additional videos so you can stay up with crypto and try to avoid getting scammed yourself i'll see you next tuesday